more semester to go at Illinois. Trent Jackson remembers October 1964 very well. He was 22 and one of the world's fastest men when he arrived in Tokyo for the Summer Olympics. Four years earlier, I had talked to Jesse Owens, and he kept telling me, if you have a dream, go for it, go for it. And when you realize that, you know, dream four years later, that you are going to the Olympics. And what are the Olympics? That's where the best athletes go. I was on top of the world. Under a warm Japanese rain, Trent easily won his first 100-meter heat and was on course for a gold medal showdown with his USA rival, Bullet Bob Hayes. Trent Jackson is one of Rochester's greatest athletes ever. They called him the Franklin Flash, but he could do much more than just run. He was a three-sport star at Franklin High before going to the University of Illinois. He played in the NFL with the Eagles and Redskins. Even though he rarely played baseball, St. Louis thought enough of his skills to draft him, but he never signed with the Cardinals. October 13th, 1964, Trent exploded from the blocks and was leading his quarterfinal heat when he pulled his right hamstring. His Olympic dream was dashed. Oh, I remember my thoughts and my actions. I went to my room and I cried. Never to have a pull muscle in high school, never have a pull muscle in college, and now you're running the biggest race of your life and you have a pull muscle? I just, you know, at the time, I'm 22, 23 years old. I can't understand that. The next day, Trent watched Bob Hayes, the man he had defeated in the pre-Olympic trials, win the gold medal. Since 1975, he has coached Franklin basketball. And then last year, another health concern. But this time, Trent Jackson felt lucky. His doctor detected a heart problem during a routine checkup, and he underwent bypass surgery. The doctor has your heart in his hand. You know, you didn't have to get up and, you know, and say, I can come back to Franklin. You could have, you know, gone the other way. So that's when it dawned on me that, uh, yes, it was major and it was serious, and I was blessed, you know, to survive. Only weeks after the heart surgery, Trent Jackson was back in the gym, coaching with the same intensity that made him one of Rochester's greatest athletes. Rick Hager, News 10, NBC. Basketball under Trent Jackson. A course at Franklin not for the faint of spirit. I can tell Al Mobley one thing that I can't tell Andre Green. They don't take it the same. I can tell Mike Shepard something that Al Mobley would get offended by. But Michael Shepard can take it. And I pride myself in knowing what to say, when to say it, and who I'm saying it to. I think he goes because, you know, he's, he's been there, you know. That's what I think because, you know, he's, I think he's been, he's been all over. He's been the United States Olympic team and all that, you know. That, and I, I really think that's one reason why, you know, he tried to bring the best out of us. Jackson is a unique individual. After all, who else in Rochester can claim to have both performed in the Olympics and played in the NFL? 25 years later, he's still succeeding. After 18 years here at Franklin, Trent Jackson is hesitant to say that his job is more important here than it might be somewhere else. But he does concede that it's different. Realistically, it does require a little more because we have a different type student. Um, and when I say different type, the student is really not motivated. He's been told sometimes you can't go to college. He's been told you, you're not one of the better players. If there's any problem away from the basketball court, I want him to tell me about it. If I have to stay up, eight hours a day extra, then I'll do it. So my method, as far as I'm concerned, is right for me. Bill Pucko, News Team 10, Franklin.
one of the happiest moments of my life. You know, uh, you come in as a coach, you give your heart, you, uh, have a good bunch of young men. They played their hearts out for me. I can't ask for anything else. And right now, I'm just very, very happy.